Welcome everybody to the Genesis Mindset and today is a very exciting day for the Atropa ecosystem. It's been pumps, pumps, pumps galore. Everywhere there's pumps. So there's been lots of pumps and there's potentially more pumps coming up. So I'm going to show you those opportunities. But as always, this is not financial advice. This is just my own personal opinion. This is just for entertainment purposes only. Things have been going crazy. My babe, my babe, she's been cooking up a storm. <laughs> Hooked up a storm today. BFF went ballistic today. So it was like a hot auction sale. So let's take a look at this. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm just going to show you how I look at some of these opportunities coming up. So you can't say Pulse Chain is dead. Look at look at some of these moves. 2,300%. This was 2,000. Just th This was actually 1,900 about 15 minutes ago. 1,000% uh, on MF. Uh, BFF, 600 Thirty-six percent. So there's all these opportunities. These are these are virtually all of these are four one four tokens. Uh, this is not a four one four token. MF. Uh, we got MDI and then B two B and A one A. So A one A had a big pump because it tracks a lot of these different tokens. So it's paired. It's liquidity bonded to all these tokens. So when these tokens move up, A one A moves up as well. It's actually a very genius kind of a token. I want to do cover that in the future. And B two B is like the little brother of A one A. So MF. MDI, these are so on Pulse Chain. You've got uh, obviously PDI, you've got Wrapped ETH, Wrapped uh, WBTC, you've got some of these core uh, copied, copied tokens. So essentially, what these M tokens are, they're like reflections tokens. So just by buying that MWBTC, I bought the MWBTC, for example, and you, you will get the reflections in that. So you don't want to put it in a liquidity pool. If you do put it in a liquidity pool, you don't actually get the reflections for it. So you just buy it and you hold it and you'll generate the yield on it's yeah, it's a reflections token. So you generate the yield on whatever the token is that you chose. So I've personally chosen uh, WBTC. Right. So now this is how I go over different opportunities. Now it's hard. Because, well, it, it's really hard actually. I'll tell you why it's hard. So obviously here's MBTC. I mean, you know, what have we got here? So it's a 5x pretty much from the bottom. That's pretty, pretty goddamn good. You know, that's 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 exceptional. So these are all to uh WPLS. Now let's have a look at this. I'm gonna zoom in actually, it might make it a little bit easier. So last night I started reading about uh BFF and I'd seen it. That's a god damn, that's a 20x man. That's a 20x. That's a 20x for like this ecosystem is phenomenal. People are sleeping on it. I, it sucks that everybody's pulse chain is down. It really does suck. But if you take someone like Somi's advice and really you you just put a little lottery ticket into some of these tokens, that's a 20x. That means a million pulse chain equals 20 million pulse chain at the top there, essentially. So I'd seen this in a, in a variety of different Telegram groups yesterday. And I, I looked at the chart and I was like, oh, no, nah, it's already done a 10x. I saw it here. And I was like, nah, I'm not interested. I I don't, I, I, yeah, it's pumped too hard. It's already done a 20X. I thought it was 10X, but it already done a bloody 20X. And then it was it was gone bonkers this morning. Everything was gone bonkers. Everybody was talking about it. Telegram groups started to pop up. Every, all the different Telegram groups that I'm in are talking about. It. it was all over Twitter. I was like, right, I've got to get some. I've got to get some for the culture at the very least. So I got some and... There is talk that it's going to go to a price of 8,000. So this is what people are saying. So 8,000. So here we go. So against against the US dollar, you know, 20x from here where I'd seen it yesterday, it's done another 12, 12x essentially. So it's having a little pullback. So I had a pullback here. I had a 60% pullback. At the moment, it's in a 30% pullback. And there are talks that it's going to go to 8,000. So around about here. So it could have one more little pump. Well, not little, one more one more big old bundy pump all the way up to 8,000 right here. So the thing that I got caught out on is the market cap. This is something that I got caught out on. I saw the pump of the 20X. I was like, nah, it's already done it. It's already too big. But the market cap here, man, was like 50 grand. That's nothing. That's not. That's nothing. These tokens, some of these tokens, like Atropa has got millions of dollars in the market cap. So if people who are in tune with this ecosystem start moving their, start moving their money around, then it's like, why, 
why won't these things pump? People who are in tune with this are going to start to move the money around. And that's that's essentially what I'm starting to do as well. I'm really starting to tune in with how things are moving. I want to start to tune in with how things are moving. So I've got, you know, a Troper and TSFI and I want to, and Teddy Bear, and I want to start deploying them. So I actually took some profits in Teddy Bear today. I think it's kind of lagging a little bit where it is. I think it probably is potentially going to have a drop and some of these other things could shine. So the Teddy Bear that I had that went from 2 million to 10 million, I've essentially taken 30% out of that maybe just over 30%. So I've taken my initial out and I've deployed that somewhere else. And that's now that BFF is up. So I'm up on that BFF. So the teddy bear is just stagnant. It wasn't really moving. And I certainly, I don't think it's it's nowhere near dead by any stretch of the imagination, but other things are moving. So this is the exciting thing. So when I heard about the market cap, you know, you look at teddy bear market cap, people are talking about a $1 billion market cap. Now this is at about a 500, 500K market cap. So it got up to 650. And so if it gets to, oh, I'm not actually going to be able to see this, but yeah, I don't know what, what the, I suppose actually, let's, I'll see if we can actually work this out somehow. Don't think I will be able to, but let's just, let's just see. So if I take this and I'll copy and paste this, oops, copy and paste this to here. By the way, if you want to, uh, if you hold control, it'll, it'll uh, lock to the different, like to the wick or the head. Now, let me just see if I can copy and paste this into the market cap, just to see if it pastes in the correct place. No, 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 no. Okay, it doesn't really work. Uh, what about, so if it's gonna be, okay, let's have a look at this then. So let's let's try and work this out. Uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. So again, I'm, I'm all about trying and learning and experimenting. So. If we say 10,000, uh, 8,000 rather, let's take this, copy and paste. And now I'm gonna move this up to 8,000. So double click, double click is supposed to bring the settings up coordinates. I'm just gonna go 8,000. Okay, so from there then, to get to there, it's going to be, what kind of a move is it gonna be? It's gonna be another, I'm just going to go to from from the all time high just for. Okay, so it's a nine x essentially. So, let's see what it's going to look like with the market cap a nine x for the market or eight and a half to nine x. So now, oh, now it's working. Okay, all right. So a nine. Oh, it's not really the same. Oh, it's is it the same kind of maths? Let me just see, because we know that it was, just bear with me here. We're all learning this together. So let's go here. So if this is a 20X, then that's what we want to see. Uh, oh, lovely. Okay, good, good. And then this should be a 12X. I think it was to here or here. Yep, perfect. And now a 9X. So this is, this is how we're going to work out what the market cap is going to be. So a nine or eight and a half to nine X. So, okay, 6.3 million market cap. Who knows? It's plausible. It's certainly plausible. This could certainly happen over the next few days, weeks, whatever. We don't know. So, okay, this is one opportunity. You could wait for a bit of a dip and go for that third leg up if there's talk that it's going to that $8,000 mark. What's that, babe? What's that? Oh, oh thanks, babe. Mm, uh, mm. She cooked up a storm today. I tell you what. Now. Again, not financial advice. I don't like to chase the greens. Today was a tough day. The FOMO did the FOMO did kick me a little bit. Now, this one here, this one here is the one that I'm like, all right, I'm not missing this one because it was the same situation. I seen the same pattern. Uh, we'll we'll go down to see if we can go down even further. So here we go. We had we had this dip and I saw it and I was like, well, it's done. Again, it's done a 20x, but I'm, I don't want to miss this one. It's had a dip. So I'm, I pretty much started accumulating it at this dip. And yeah, I suppose then the first, the first kind of targets that I'll be looking at will be that 10 to 12 X mark. So when it gets to 30, about 30 mil, so 30 mil price. So here's an opportunity right here. And again, I would look at this and go, hang on a minute. If we end up seeing a third bounce in BFF, best friends forever, it's not best friends forever. I don't actually know what it is. If we do see a third bounce in this, 
we could also see a third bounce in this. So we're currently in the second bounce. So this has had two, potentially going for three. This also has only had one. It's going into its second and it keeps rising. This uh, Now look at this. Well, you can't actually see it. Let me see if I... No, you won't be able to see it again because my big old horse head is there. So the the I'll go here just for just so you can see. Already it's up more, 2,500% up. So... Man, yeah, um, um, I please buy at your own risk. This is just, just the way that I saw this other thing, moon, moon. And if we look at the market cap of this, what's the market cap of this now? Let's have a look. Because you want to be able to compare and if it's low market cap, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so this one is, oh, that's not right. 800 million market cap. That can't be right. Hang on a minute. That's definitely not sounding correct. Let's let's um that could be a that could be some kind of mistake. Let's have a look at this. So I'm gonna click this more, copy the pair address, and I'll open it up in its own little cheeky little tab. Let's have a look here what the actual market cap is when I bring it up. So you're just gonna have to trust me because again, my head's gonna be in the way, so you won't be able to see it. Wow, 8.62 million. Oh no, 43K market cap. Huh. All right, so that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Ah, I wonder, yeah, okay, okay, I understand now. Whoops, all right, so yes, 40,000. Yes, okay, got it. So obviously that was in the market cap to WPLS. That's quite interesting. I, I didn't know it did that. That's really cool. So there we go. We just learned something. So we, we keep we keep learning together here. We keep learning here. We keep learning together. Speaking of learning together, so those are some of the opportunities. Now, just on the previous video, thank you very much, Zenon. He's he's been helping me with my audio. I have tried one last setting. You said it was really good and improved. I actually noticed it was worse. So I would be very interested to see if today it was good for you. If you could leave a comment, I would really appreciate that. Um, thank you. Like the, the comments on these, just, just a small little video, almost 300 views, tiny little video, lots of people commenting. So I really appreciate all the comments. I've got some of the, I've got some of the regulars here created by Julio. One of the, I mean, he's, he's like, he's, he's taken charge of Teddy. He's doing an awesome job there. Really good guy. Thanks. Thanks for the comments, guys. Like honestly, doing these videos every day and seeing these comments really gives me energy. I really, I thrive off that energy. So I wanted to just I wanted to just go over this comment by uh, Greg and Dale. So I think you were responsible for the pump last night, man. So I'm doing my best to wrap my head around your last video though, where your trade idea between each coin in the ecosystem with Pulse. Like how is this different to just buying more into each one with more fiat? So let's, I'll see if I can reiterate that for you again, uh, Greg and Dale and, and make it nice and clear for you. So I'll go over, I'll try and go over it one more time. So where is my multi charts? And so that was in relation to the video from two nights ago. So this was last night's video. So that was in relation to the to the video two nights ago. So let's have a look at this. If I go to, I think it's a trope of routes. Okay, so how is it different? So again, let's just go to the comment. How is it different? to just buying more into each one with more fiat. So I did leave a comment there. I hope you've seen that comment. So I basically said there is, there's, there's, well, there is a difference. I said, there's no difference. It's just for people like me who are fiat poor at the moment and want to start playing with their pulse. So if, if I had a regular source of income, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be using my pulse personally. I would be using fresh fiat, um, but I don't really have a lot of fresh fiat coming in at the moment. And I'm kind of, getting bored of just sitting on the pulse and I want to use it and I want to I want to try and grow it like I've got a stack of one third of my pulse that I'm trying to grow so it's that stack that I'm actually deploying here plus I'm also bringing in fresh fiat as well so fiat is pretty much how I've been accumulating but now I really want to take it to another level so that's what I'm doing so the the difference is is obviously if you had okay let's just say you'd put in you'd put in fresh fiat here you could again put fresh fiat in here and just leave it. There's no problem there whatsoever. I, if, if it was, again, if I had fresh fiat, that's exactly what I'll be doing. Fresh fiat, fresh fiat. But this is about ratio trading your, your pulse. So then what I did, I'd put pulse into this and, I, and I've actually taken profit on the pulse 
just around this green line because I saw it really struggling around this green line. So this is like a really key level that it need to needed to break. So this is not against WPLS, but it's essentially the same thing. Um, I don't think I've got it drawn on the WPLS. So it was really struggling at these levels. So I pretty much sold a little bit out of these levels and deployed some of that into these different tokens. So I deployed some of that into BFF. So it was profit. It's it's free money. So basically I'm sitting on, I'm, I'm in a position now where I really can't lose. So my 2 million pulse, I've taken out, I think maybe a third of it. So 10 million. So I've taken out, let's say about 4 million and deployed that into BFF. So even if, I mean, Teddy Bear has to come all the way down to here, then I'm 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 down on my pulse in that sense, but I don't think it's going to come this far down. It might, it might not, who knows, but I still believe in it long-term. So it doesn't matter. I've actually been able to deploy it at a high and I'm trying to compound my stack like that. So again, this is all just a learning experience for me. I'm not an expert. I'm doing this with you guys. And I'm hoping that you guys are doing this with me as well in the sense that not following me is like financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor as, as Sami says, go buy bonds. Um, Nothing like that. I'm actually just doing this and I want you guys to learn as well and share with me. That's always been my mindset. Like, let's learn together. I'm not like, oh, I've, I've figured this thing out. I'm going to keep it to myself. I want to share it. That's that's just that's just how I am. So for better or worse. So that's it. Thank you very much. Hopefully there's some good opportunities there, something to look out for you. And hopefully we can get a little nice little moon on the nothing token overnight and see how that goes. So take care of yourself, everybody. Have a good night.